guys, so this is the third time I've tried to shoot this. <laughs> the first time the size limit went wrong, and then the second time the size limit went wrong. So this time, let's try it again. I'm in a new location because I'm the only person home, just me and the cat and whatever ghosts are lurking around. Um, the husband took my kids to his mother's house to make spaghetti sauce so I could finish or work. Not fin I hadn't finished Solace. I'm working on Solace. Um, but I did get 8,000 words done and I may do some more after I put um, We got lots and lots of questions today uh, from Melanie, Samantha, Beth, Jamie, and Ashley. So we should probably get started. Uh, okay, tell us about Heartless. If you've been around some of the parties I've been to and some of the memes that's been going around, you know that Heartless comes out uh, January 17th. And it is about a girl named Grayson who is in college and she's living with this boy called Sam and everything was going really well until a week ago when he changed into this um, not so nice person. And along that same time, um, her nightmare started coming back. She'd always, except for the first, except for five years, she's had this dream about this demon named Hart who ate her eyes and her tongue and her brain and her liver and everything every night except her heart because he said that she didn't have one. So Heartless is about is she imagining it? Is she not imagining it? Is heart part of her? Is heart not part of her? Is she part of a big pawn match between heaven and hell? Um, so you get to find out in January. So there's Heartless and there's Soulless and I'm about to finish with Soulless. I love Soulless and Breathless will come out in September. So be looking for that oh and I have another book coming out December 1st it's called Frost it's a rendezvous collection with Elise Faber and Katie Wood and Cece Ravenera and my story is called The Things We Leave Behind and it's a ghost story and it's really cool and I hope you check it out all right how did your nano go I'm finished with nano I finished two days ago I reached 50,000 words and I'm at 58 Right now, sorry, my hands are getting tired. I'm a wimp. Okay, when is the third fairy tale coming out? It's coming out next year. It's written. It's not edited. I I finished it October 30th, and I started Soulless for Nano November 1st. So, it's it's coming around <laughs> to getting um, ready for me to submit it to the publisher. So, next year, hopefully in the spring. What do you think about Supernatural Season 11? Okay. I love Season 11. I love Season 11. I really like uh, this week's episode, Plush, which went back like a Monster of the Week type of thing. I love those. And they got the ghost back and the Circle of Salt. There was actual Circle of Salt. And it sounds uh, scared of clowns. And I loved it. And I've loved this whole season. And, you know, the cage. And I won't give any spoilers, but oh my gosh. I'm very happy with season 11. Very, I could say more, but I'm not. Love it. Love it. Okay, favorite part of Thanksgiving? Getting to be with my family. If you could get anything I want, if I could get anything I want for Christmas that can fit in size bag so world peace doesn't count, what would you pick? I would pick a new kitchen remodel. If it had to be for me, and it had to fit in Santa's bag. He could bring me some men to fix my kitchen. <laughs> that would be, I keep, okay, that would be good. Uh, where do your story ideas come from? Usually, it comes from me thinking, what if? What if this happened? What if somebody had these nightmares of this demon? What if a hunter came to your door and said you're, dead wife was haunting this hotel what if that's where I think that's where a lot of my stories come from is what if and I like that I like figuring out sorry my battery died so now I'm in a different location in my house so I can hook up <laughs> the last question was Christmas decorations am I more of a Clark Griswold or less is more I love looking at other people's decorations. I'm not so much a fan of putting them up myself. <laughs> I don't know why. We put up a Christmas tree and we, we get, we didn't have, 
We have some ornaments, but we usually just get candy canes, like different color candy canes, and put them on the tree. So that's probably what we'll do again this year. If you have a question for Ask Kelly anything, send it to Kelly Martin, K E L L Y M A R T I N 215 at yahoo.com. You can leave a comment in this uh, comment section. I'll leave links and stuff in the description. I'm sorry for the quality of this video. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, there's no, <laughs> it just is. Um, I hope you're having a good nano if uh, you're still going strong. I hope you are. I hope you've not quit. And I have some tips to get through nano because we all know it's not the easiest thing in the world. I hope you have a wonderful night and a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, world.